another situation with a car suppose that another car is moving at a speed of 18.5 meters per second to negative 1 when the brakes are applied so that this, so as to slow the car down at a rate of minus 2.85 meters per second now let's just see what we're given initially here what are we given well we usually write down our SUVAT. Now the S we don't know yet, we don't anything, but we do know the the U, isn't it? That's the starting. That's eighteen point five meters per second to negative one. We don't know what our final velocity is, um, depending on how long the brakes were applied, but we do know it's it's the acceleration is minus two point eight five meters per second to negative one. Now I just want to highlight the idea that we've got a minus sign. Now the minus sign in one dimensional motion, motion in a straight line, purely just tells us if we are going forwards or backwards. So this 18 could be going in that direction. The acceleration would be in the other direction like that. Okay. So let's look at A what will be the speed of this car 3.55 seconds after the brakes are applied so we're told that it's 3.55 seconds now we asked what will the speed be velocity also is the same thing um, in, in that it's traveling in a straight line although if it uh, goes in the reverse direction then the velocity would be a negative number so which formula are we going to use well, we can bring up our, our formulas again. Um, remember, we've also got the V is equal to U plus AT. And uh, that would probably be a good one because we want to find out what our V is. We want to find out what our... Uh, we've, we've, we want to find out what our V is. We've got our U, we've got our A, and we've got our T. So this would be a, a good formula to use. So we can go here let's close it down we go here so I've got V is equal to U plus A T this is A and uh, we're going to get V is equal to 18.5 plus but now remember you've got this minus 2.85 and we are going at 3.55 seconds so we do that on our calculator. We can type the whole thing into our calculator in one go. Um, no need to do it in different parts. Our calculator will follow it. So it's 18.5 plus. Remember to make this minus uh, 2.85 times 3.55. Enter. And we get an answer that our V is equal to 8.38 to five meters per second to negative one but because again I have got three significant figures I must do this to three significant figures so it's going to be 8.38 meters per second so I've got my a part I'm not sure if I'm going to do the whole thing um, how far will this uh, will this car move during 3.5 seconds so now we want to find s um, We've got U, we've got A, and we've got T. We can use B, uh, S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared. You see how we use what we've got, we see what we want to find, and we pick the right formula. So S is equal to 18.5 times the T, which is 3.55 plus a half times the A, which is minus, don't forget that minus, 2.85 times the time um, of 3.55 squared. Don't forget the squared. Often students will forget the squared. They'll forget that and they'll forget that. All right, so we put that all into our calculator. 18.5 times 3.55 uh, plus 0.5 times minus. 2.85 times 3.55 squared and we get a total here 
of 47. Now I'm going to do this to three significant figures. 47.7 meters. It actually read 47.716. So I go to the fourth significant figure, see if my third significant figure will go down by any. Uh, how long will it take for this car to stop? In doing that one, um, we would we would have to decide what does this mean. It means that um, we are looking at the situation. We we don't know what our time is. These still remain the same. What do we know about our final velocity? Well, because it stopped, this is zero meters per second. So we know that now, and um, we want to find the time. How long? All right. So here we want to find the time we have got we have got u we've got v we've got a and we've got t but we don't have s so we'd want to use a formula that um, doesn't use s all these formulas use s would use the one that we've been using v is equal to u plus a t but here we'd change the formula around to be uh, t is equal to v minus u over a and um, so we can use that. So I'll go back to this. So we're going to get T. This is for C. T is equal to V minus U over A. Um, and so we just put it in. The V is equal to zero. Um, it's minus 18.5 divided by minus 2.85. Uh, that's important, otherwise we get negative time, which we don't want to get. So we get um, minus uh, minus 18.5 divided by 2.85, enter, and um, I get 6.49, 6.49 seconds. And then... Finally, we have got um, D here, so we've done C, now we're doing D. How far will this car move from the time that the brakes are applied to when the car comes to a stop? So, there is a whole lot of formulas. We've now got, we've got this is 6.49 seconds. But let's see if we can use a formula that doesn't use that time, because maybe we made a mistake in that calculation. So going here... I see I've got this formula over here because I've got my V that's zero. This is 18.5. I know my acceleration so I can find my my distance, my displacement. And we'd have to change that formula around, wouldn't we? It would be... Actually, let me just do something here. Let me just move this whole thing over here and I'll write... Um, I'll see if I can write over here. Just one moment for me, please. Thanks. I'll just change this around a bit like that and I'll just write on this over here so we have got we're going to use this formula over here this one over here I'll change it around that's going to be v squared minus u squared over 2a is equal to s are you okay with changing that around so my v is 0 so that's 0 squared minus u squared, that's 18.5 squared, divided by 2 times uh, the acceleration, which was minus 2.85, would give me my displacement. And so I do that on the calculator. Do that, uh, it's going to be um, minus 18.5 squared, uh, divided by you need to put brackets in here, open brackets, 2 times minus 2.85. You do know to use the um, the minus in brackets on your calculator to get that minus. Close brackets, enter, and uh, we get a total that our S is equal to 60.04, so it's 60.0 meters. We put in that zero to show that we did put this to three significant figures.